Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our Minecraft Creative Inspiration Series here on play.assumavoid.com and again another incredible plot here to check out this one is an oil rig and it is a community plot if you don't know what that means it means people of the community have gotten together to build this and the last time we showcased one of those I do believe was the first episode where we did the minecon plot and that was put together by It's Fozzy who's also put this one together as well and it's quite remarkable this thing came together in less than 24 hours it was started one evening it was finished by the next morning and that is the strength of the community right there. This entire thing was built through Minecraft chat. There was no team speak or anything like that. This is just people working together out of the love of the game, which is always incredible to see. So I want to give a big thanks to all of these people right here for making such a wonderful build. Uh, really great to see people just coming together and working and making things happening. It's really awesome. And uh, yeah, props to all of you for putting this together. Also, <laughs> 10 out of 10, nice rig. We've got a neighbour over here who likes it by the looks of it. And man, I wouldn't mind having something like this next to my plot. It's pretty spectacular. So, let's go and have a look around the plot. As always, we're not going to be able to see everything, so be sure to come on the server and check it out for yourself. There'll be a warp link in the description box, which you can type into chat and get teleported over here. So, at first glance, I'm noticing there's some pretty awesome looking planes and helicopters, some fire going on. And I know I've already had a look around. There are tons of Easter eggs on here. Lots of little things to see. You can see there's signs everywhere. The Great Beast of the Seven Seas. <laughs> and then we've got a little vault down here uh, that's full of TNT. So there's loads of little things to see. Obviously, look at this. Imported tea and coffee. What have we got over here? Minecraft for Xbox. You can see the goods are being imported. And it looks so awesome. It looks so lifelike. I love it. You can really kind of see the oil rig here. <laughs> Is that a TARDIS? There is a TARDIS on here. Okay, very cool stuff. And there's loads of little things like that around here. So, for example, look at these gorgeous cranes here bringing in the uh, <laughs> the crates. Down below, you can see there's a little bit of a fire. And uh, there's also a fire hydrant, fire extinguisher thing over here. And it looks like I've come to the rescue. Also, Mumbo's here dropping his oil buckets everywhere. <laughs> uh, that reminds me of something else that's on here that we've got to go and check out. But I love the fire, man. We've seen this so many times now. It looks ever so good using the stained glass. If we go down the bottom, though, there's things to see down here as well. Like there's some growth on the underside of the oil rig. And this just makes me chuckle every time I see it. Check it out. They're all just hanging out, walking along, carrying their little oil buckets. And uh, they're all holding signs as well. Depth of the depth. Depth of the depth. So where does this stuff go again? <laughs> uh, Butler Bus says, so much oil to fill. Someone help me. And then Thomas Sutton says, am I getting paid for this? <laughs> and it looks like someone over here is not having a very good time. Sorry, he's dropped the oil on the ground. Look, there's an oil spill. With the black carpet, incredible stuff. Oh, it's so funny to find little things like that around on this place. So, there's loads more of these uh, containers over here. There's a chunk of something or other. It looks like coal to me. Well, it's the coal block, so that's probably what it is. And they've all got little security cameras on as well, which is really cool. Um, but there's loads of little things to read here as well. We've got McNuggets brought to you by McU McBuy McDonald's. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I read that totally wrong, didn't I? McNuggets, McBrought, Mc2... Mc you by McDonald. Oh, <laughs> I can barely read it. Right, there we go. So yes, there's a lot of stuff to see uh, inside as well. Um, so if we have a look at some of the bigger structures here, these look pretty incredible. Some towers leading up. I'm not sure what their purpose is on the oil rig, but then I'm no oil rig expert. <laughs> Why would I be? Um, yeah, so there's some awesome towers here leading up to the top. This one is sort of on fire, it looks like, which is pretty awesome. And then we've got some wicked looking helicopters over here. Well, just the one. This one looks like uh, a bit of a tactical sort of helicopter. I don't know what you call this. I've not seen one with a body shape like that before, but it certainly looks awesome. And the thing that I really like about this is the propellers and the way the cobwebs indicate what way it's spinning. Really kind of adds a little bit of motion and uh, lifelikeness to it. Then over here we've got a plane that's flying by. Again, using the uh, cobwebs to give that trail effect. That's such a good way um, to do things. And we've got a little pilot in here driving the plane as well. <laughs> awesome stuff. Let's drop back down below and check out some more of the buildings. I can see something from up here that wasn't there last time I had a little peek at this plot. So we'll head over in that direction. Um, there's loads of little details and all sorts of things going on around here as well, which I really like. Love the pipes sort of going from place to place. It always looks so cool. So over here we have the offices. And this right here, I'm not sure exactly what this is. Is this like a food stall? Yeah, this looks like a little area you can come down and get a seat yep <laughs> very cool 
This is the canteen. So yeah, you got your Fanta and your Sprite and what's possibly like chocolate cake or something and some burgers. I don't know. Ever such cool stuff right there. And uh, if we head up the top here, everyone's got their own little office. So we're not going to go through all of these, but you can see everyone's sort of decorated their own little area, which is always nice to uh, to check out. We've got the head of recruitment over here. There's a random door in the middle. It's not random. It's the back of a chair. <laughs> and uh, and there you go. Some security cameras. Awesome stuff. Let's head out of this one and look in the next. We have the catering manager right here. He's got a cake, no doubt. I can't eat it, though. <laughs> And yeah, so cool. So there's loads of offices, loads of little things here to check out. You can see we've got some on either side. I know Fozzy has his own like head office somewhere around the back here. And uh, what's down on this side? We got the uh, the driller's office, <laughs> and there he is sitting sitting down, hanging out. He's a melon. Let's go the other way. <laughs> uh, over on this side, I do believe is where Fozzy's little bit is. Let's have a look. Where's Fozzy? Is this it? Office president. There we go. And this is off his little hangout area right here. Got a little couch. And uh, I love the computer screens with the banners. They look so cool. I was saying to him, when we get the uh, the multiple... Like, there's a limit to the amount of layers on a on a uh, banner at the moment. So when we get that limit lifted for a plug-in, um, we should be able to like put some really cool details in that square at the top just using uh, much more layers than you're normally allowed in creative mode, which would be really, really cool. Um, yeah, so there's loads of stuff to see here. We've got another helicopter over on this side. This one's stationary and parked. And there's uh, some cool little details. Really love the shape on this one, actually. This is a very nice looking helicopter right here. Really cool design. Can we even go inside? I believe we can. Oh, yes, and we're all hanging out in here. We've got Fozzie, myself, and a few others from the community, including Notch. Notch came for the ride. And uh, our pilots at the front here as well. Awesome stuff. And yes, yeah, so there's some more pipes going on around in this area. And uh, I don't know what this is, but I like what it looks like. I need to learn more about oil rigs. <laughs> Whenever you know, don't know what something is, it's a good idea to learn. Um, yeah, so this is a lifeboat, isn't it? I like it. It's a cool looking lifeboat. And uh, let's go down below and see if there's anything else to see down here. I don't know what this is. This is some sort of like little guardian monument, I think. Oh, is it like an ocean monument hidden down underneath the oil rig? <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, so there's a big drill right here. We'll avoid that. Somewhere around one of these pillars, there's like a little staircase and everything, which is really cool. I think this is it right here. We've got some TNT at the bottom, which doesn't look too safe. High explosives need clear up. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it goes all the way up to the top here. So we've seen a fair amount of this already. Let's go inside. Is it this building over here? There's uh, a few more things to see somewhere around here. I'm not sure what this is. It's just like a containing area, isn't it, for all the different things inside the oil rig. I do like it. And it looks like those tubes are getting processed over here. So there's a little staircase that takes you up to the top. And here we have Dust Security Inc. Or Dust Inc. Security. <laughs> Always watching, stalking, in progress. And then there's my little helmet right there. And uh, <laughs> looks like we're all hanging out just watching, watching the screens in here. Doing our surveillance. That's really cool. I like that. Awesome little detail. I love the uh, little player heads as well there. They're so good for adding detail. So yeah, tons of cool stuff to see on here. It's really awesome. And uh, I'm going to leave it to you guys to come on here and explore the rest of it. We've seen actually a fair amount of uh, what there is to see. But it's just a really awesome project. Looks so great. Oh, I almost missed it. I saw this earlier in the video and then sort of forgot about it. We've got the little Oasis Garden right here. Got to have that on an oil rig. There's too much, you know, iron everywhere. You want to come and... Chill out in the garden for a bit, uh, but it says Fozzy Corp over here, and it says something down here. We've got an O and an I and an L, and I think that actually might be it, because it says oil. Fozzy Corp oil, and then this probably isn't anything, is it? Yeah, really cool stuff right here, and there's so much more to see. For example, this little plane right here, this looks like one of the old ones from the early 1900s. Um, I could be wrong, though. To me, that looks like a plane, and I love the use of the signs there. But anyway, that's going to be it for our little tour around this plot. And, uh, of course, if you're on the server, keep your ear to the ground. I'm sure Fozzie will be doing more community builds in the future. So if you want to get involved and you're on at the right time, um, then these things do happen. And look at the result of them. Absolutely incredible what the community can do when they come together. Anyway, that's going to be it from me this episode. As always, please do show some support and leave a like on the video. It's truly appreciated when you guys do that. Um, the series so far has been excellent. Cannot wait to do more of these plot tour videos. The things you guys build are absolutely incredible and they deserve some attention. Anyway, that's it from me this episode. So as always, thank you ever so much for watching 
and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.